Right, so I'm making this quick video to give a status update of our Cubcondit um, ride on mower conversion project started sort of just over 18 months ago. Um, Duncan came up from Christchurch and helped me with the sort of conversion originally. We mounted the motor and put the Ultrax in um, and had it going within sort of, you know, after the end of the first week. Um, but then I had an obstacle after sort of after he'd left. We hadn't quite finished or anything, hadn't put the deck back together and put that on. Um, and the Ultrax sort of started smoking on the second time I took the, the ride on mower out for a test drive. Um, it had only gone about a kilometre um, and we started seeing sort of smoke coming out the side of it. So, And then the power just sort of died completely, it sort of lost power. So I, I turned it off basically and put on a trailer and brought it back home again. And um, I had other projects that sort of were sort of higher priorities that sort of been sitting in the shed. I kept thinking I'd sort of get onto it sort of next month, but that hasn't happened. It's been 18 months now sitting there waiting um, for me to get around to doing something with it. So I've just basically given it a quick sort of clean down. Neil's considering taking it over, so making a video just to sort of give him a quick update on the status. Um, the motor's been mounted and installed. Um, the Alteryx controller there was the one that was blue one. There was the one that was smoking out the side um, when we when we lost power sort of 18 months ago. The battery box we had four of those um, Winston batteries there, in next to the motor in a small sort of lying down flat basically in a wooden box with this big wooden box and on top with another 12 of them. So we had 16 Winstons, um, 3.2 volts each, up to, you know, 48 volts total. Um, I've just got some IMEV cells in the box now to sort of see how they fitted. I just put those in just today. So they, they weren't part of the original project. It was just 16 of those yellow Winstons that we had, 90 amp hour cells. Um, yes, yeah, so, I mean, the, we've got the, on the side of the battery box here, you can see we've got the emergency stop switch is mounted there. The fuse was on the side there as well. Um, along with the contactor, which is now just sitting up here, it's still sort of wired into the control control wiring from the old well, wiring harness and, um, off the old tracks. Um, the Curtis style throttle is there as well, and there's a few other bits and pieces in behind. And there's some um, ice cream container there. There's a DC DC controller and a fuse box and whatnot. Um, you can see the status of the lawnmower it was second hand lawnmower that had been used you know, several years old. Basically, the the engine crapped out and died. Um, so we got it for sort of nine hundred dollars as a throwaway. Um, this plastic cover on the right side here cracked, um, was broken, so we sort of just took it off and threw it away. There's a small split in the back of the seat there, but it otherwise um, the seat folds folds up. There's a little bit of surface rust in places, not nothing significant, I guess, on the on the mower itself. The deck's in a bit worse condition. It's got you know I took it all apart and took all the pulleys and bearings and wheels and everything off it um, when we first did the project, just to rust kill it and chip all the rust off and paint it. So I gave it a rust sort of kill paint, rust conversion paint job. Um, but that was 18 months ago and now the service rust has started to come back again. So that was sort of mainly doing again and reassembly as well of course is a, another job. Um, probably need some help from Duncan just looking at his club cadet to sort of see how everything fits back together again. So it's got the two pulleys there and all the mounting brackets and the two the two blades. Um, I guess that's it, that's it for now. Yeah.